Johnny, how are you this morning? I hope you're doing fantastically well. I'm doing one of my favorite things, eating. I love to eat food. It's kind of hard to talk while you're eating, but there's a lesson in this. When you eat food, you You do things, oatmeal by the way, six grain oatmeal for my breakfast. You dirty pans, you dirty plates, and you dirty bowls and silverware. So, if you want to really freak your mom out, I'm gonna teach you something today that's a secret. It's how to do the dishes. So, you, are going to have to help clean up once in a while. Take your turn at it. In fact, turn it into a habit, that's even better. But for now, we're gonna show you how to clean the dishes by hand, particularly, though if you've got a dishwasher, we can teach you about that too. So, enjoy eating, but clean up the dishes when you're done. All right, stepsons, we're going to learn how to do dishes today. So what we have here is a mess of dishes, and uh, we're going to wash them. Now, we've got some going on in the dishwasher down here that you can't see. We'll do that in a different segment. But for now, we're going to deal with the hand wash dishes. So there's some tools you need to do dishes. Most importantly is a dishcloth, a washcloth that you're going to wash the dishes with. You need some dish soap that you're going to put in the water so that the dishes get clean and sometimes you need something a little beefier than the uh, washcloth to get some stubborn stuff off so we've got some scrubbers to go with it too now you don't need that every time but sometimes you do all right all right so the first thing you want to do is i call it rinse and stack so we've got dishes we got to do some rough cleaning to get the crud off of them i've already done it on some of these dishes and there's some that aren't but you get the rough crud off of them. In this sink, we've got a disposal that will grind up crud that goes down the drain, food particles and stuff. And the other side doesn't have that. So we want to rinse the stuff in this sink so that we can use the disposal to grind it up when we're done. So like this one, it has some stuff in it. Made, uh, got a little cooked on the bottom because it simmered and so we've got stuff on the bottom here again I'm doing it on this side it's been soaking for a little bit I'm going to put that there and spray some yesterday we had barbecue hamburgers so this is waiting to go so I can get a lot of it off this way and take a look and see but the corners just doesn't lend itself to the corner. That's when you're going to use one of these or that. Let's use this one or on this one. That's a little big to fit in the sink here. So it will fit over here. You might be able to see that. Scrub it around, get the cut off. This hadn't burned. If it had burned on the bottom, it would have been harder. This was just on the verge. Still tasted great. All right, so now you can see most of that rough stuff is off. Now you can see it better that way. So now it's probably pretty much ready to be hand washed. And I'm going to just do one real quick here. So rinse and stash. So we want these ready to be washed over here. Now I've been feeding some stuff down there, so I'm going to run the disposal. I don't keep water running down the disposal when you're doing it. And now, next step is clean out the sinks and fill them with dishwater. <coughs> 
All right, so now we've rinsed our dishes. We're going to rinse the sinks, wipe the sinks out, and get those ready. And this one, they're different size sinks. So this one is a bigger one. This one is a smaller one, the one that has the disposal in it. I need to clean them both out because they've been soaking the dishes. When you wash dishes, sometimes you need to pour water in a drain. If you've got them both plugged up, you don't have a drain available to do that with. So I use a tub in the rinse side so that you can still put water or other things down the drain if you need to. Otherwise, you got to walk to the nearest bathroom or wherever else you got a sink and throw throw it outside if you've got to dump something once you've plugged up the drains, if you plug them both up. So, this one is ready. Put the plug in that. Now, before we just fill it with water, I'm going to put my biggest pans in and fill in those first. Sometimes, if you've got a big pan and you don't want to use a tub like this as your rinse tub, then you can wash the pan first and then fill it with rinse water and use the pan as rinse water if you want to. We're not going to do that today, but that's an option too. So, when you're putting in the dish soap, I like to just drizzle it in slowly so it doesn't all sink to the bottom. And you want this going in with the water as it's filling to create suds. The suds are help wash it. That's what washes the dishes. Well, actually, you wash the dishes, but the suds is what helps clean the dishes. All right, now I've got this going in straight hot. Uh, the dishes are cooler, so when they go in, they're going to cool it down. Suds actually helps keep the heat in the water. Now I'm going to finish rinsing this one off. that in there so that we can use that for our rinse water. So, now you just wash the dishes. To get the water good and warm, it might be almost, almost too hot. You want to, generally you want to do your cleanest dishes first and work towards your dirtiest ones. So the dirty ones are at the end so that you're not making dirty water for your clean ones to have to be washed. Through. Okay, so when you're stacking dishes in the drainer, you want to stack them at an angle so that they'll drain down. If I put it flat like that, then it's going to go all directions down the side evenly, which is less efficient than if you angle it like that. Then it's going to go down this way and that way. Gravity's working better for you that way. And everything else you just want to have like that would be better like that, because then it's going to go down to a point instead of a plane. You didn't know there was math involved in doing dishes, did you? but there is. So, and that's not going to work. Some drainers have a platform that drains back into the sink. These are just absorption cloths, and so it absorbs the moisture and then it evaporates back out after. So, anyway, that's how you do that. So now you know how to do the dishes. So next time your mom or your grandma or your dad or somebody wants you to help with the dishes, you know how to do the dishes. So make sure you're not afraid to do the dishes so you can help in your home life. Any questions, email them to me, all right?
and we'll see you on our next episode. All right, one thing I forgot to mention about doing dishes. Once you've done the dishes, you get dishpan hands. So as they dry off, one thing you want to do to keep your hands from being too dried out, put a little squirt of lotion on them. When I'm not holding the camera with the other hand, then I'll rub them together to keep your hands from drying out and cracking. So don't forget to do that. He's giving him his what every boy needs to know about being a man speech. All right, Johnny, congratulations. You know how to do the dishes now. Let's just do a quick recap. What were the steps we went over? First of all, rinse and stack. So you want to rinse the dishes and clean the rough crud off of them and then stack them neatly by the side of the sink. Second one is you got to clean the sinks out so that they're clean to do the dishes in. And then third, you fill the sinks, soap into one. I like to use a tub to do rinse in the other one, but uh, you can use a big pan or you can fill the whole sink if you want. And then step four is you wash the dishes. <laughs> That's the fun part. All right, so hopefully if you do them frequently, you don't have that many to do and that makes it easier. Uh, a couple things I didn't say in the video though too. When you're stacking them in the, in the drainer, you do want to stack them at an angle where they'll drain nicely but you're better to let them air dry if you can. If you can air dry, in other words, if you've got enough room, let them sit. If you don't, then you grab a towel, a clean towel, and dry them off, and then you can put them away right away. But it's better, there's fewer germs involved if you can leave them and let them air dry and then just put them away that way. But we always dried them with a towel growing up, and we didn't die, so that's okay too. But. All right, so now you know how to do the dishes. So surprise your mom and go do the dishes without being asked. And she will be amazed. So make sure you do that. And two other things, always remember that you can do whatever you want to do and choose to do. You don't have any disadvantages that are stopping you from being all that you have the potential to be. And finally, remember that your stepdad loves you. I love you guys. All right. Seriously. OK, I got it. I love you. Thank you. That was a good speech. Thank you. I just hit my head on the freaking corner of that. I'm sorry. Same.